electric field. There are a few things that you need to know about electric field. Uh, of course, the, the very first thing that you need to know is uh, the definitions of electric field. Eh? An electric field is a region in which an electric charge particle experiences an electric force. Eh? This electric force is the electrostatic force. Eh? The electrostatic force. Uh, electric field is represented by a number of lines and we call it the electric lines of force or electric field lines. We will discuss that later. So that's the first thing that you need to know about electric field. It's a place, it's a place or regions uh, where if you put some charge inside that regions, uh, the charge will experience uh, electrostatic force. Uh, there will be a, an electrostatic force exert on uh, that charge. So let's see this diagram. Uh, let's say uh, this region, uh, this region is uh, inside an electric field. This is electric field. Okay, if you put a charge inside this electric field, eh, okay, immediately there is a force exert on this charge. Okay, there's a force exert on this charge, and uh, then we say this charge is inside an electric field. It's a region where an electric charge particle experiences an electric force. Eh? But if you put a charge particle here, which is outside the field. There is no force, no electrostatic force uh, except on this object. Then this is outside the field. So what is electric field? It's a electric field is a place. Uh, it's a place where uh, the charge inside that place will experience electrostatic force. Okay, so that is the definitions of electric field. The next things that you need to know about electric field is the directions of the electric field. Okay, directions of the electric field. And um, the directions of the field or electric field at a point is defined as the directions of the electric force exerted on a positive test charge place at that point. Uh, so if you put a positive charge inside an electric field, then there is a force eh, act on this charge that, that push it to the right. Then the directions of the electric field will be to the right. The electric field follow the directions of the force exert on the positive charge. Okay, directions of the field at a point is defined as the directions of the electric force exerted on the positive test charge. For example, sir, if you put a charge here, a positive charge here, and then the positive charge uh, move upwards due to an electrostatic force, uh, then the field is going up. If you put a, uh, let's say, uh, negative charge, eh? negative charge here, and there's a force that push the negative charge downwards. What's the directions of the field? For this case, eh? negative charge, there's a force uh, push this or pull this uh, negative charge downwards. Eh? Okay, so what is the directions of the field? Up or down? Up or down? Uh, the answer is up. Uh. Okay, up. Why? Uh? Because because uh, if you put a negative charge, uh, if it move downward, then if you put a positive charge, then it will move up. Because the the force exerted on the positive charge will always uh, in the opposite directions of the force that exerts on the negative charge. So if the force exerts on the negative charge go down, then the positive positive charge will go up. Uh. Okay, and then uh, the directions of the field follow the directions of the positive charge, not the negative charge. You follow the directions of the positive charge, and therefore the field is going up. We must follow the directions of the force exert on the positive charge, eh? positive charge, not the negative charge. Okay, the next thing that you need to know is the strength of the electric field. Eh? The strength of the electric field. The strength of the strength of the electric field is indicated by how close the field lines are to each other. The closer the field lines, the stronger the electric field in that region. So let's see these two examples first. Eh? A, okay, the lines are not very close to each other, but B, the lines are very close to each other, right? Okay, so therefore we say uh, the electric field eh, at these regions is weaker compared to these regions. Okay, because the lines are very close to each other, so therefore uh, the field is strong. 
So the strength of the field is represented by the distance of the line. Is if it's very close to each other, then it's a strong field. If it's a uh, far away from each other, then it's a weak field. So C and D, if we compare, okay, then uh, so D is a stronger field, eh? Okay, you see all the lines are very close to each other, okay. But this one, the lines are very far from each other. So uh, this is a weaker field. This is a stronger field, eh? Okay. But for this one C, yeah, okay. Then you can see that this point, point E, eh, if we compare point E with point F, point E with point F, uh, point E is very close to each other, right? Okay, here. But point F, eh, you can see that the lines are very far from each other, right? So therefore, at these regions, eh, these regions, uh, the field is strong, okay? But at these regions, the field is weak. So the field is strong here and the field is weak here. So it means that the strength of the field decreases, okay? From the center of the charge, it decreases when we move away from the center of the charge. So here, stronger field, here, weaker field. The strength of the field is represented by the, uh, the distance of the lines, how close the lines to each other. The last thing is the patterns of the electric field. You need to memorize. Uh, you need to memorize the patterns of the electric field. Uh, for example, for a point electrode, uh, a point charge. Uh, okay, so this is the patterns of the field. Uh. Now take note that uh, the field always come out from the positive charge and move into the negative charge. Okay, the field line uh, come out from positive charge and move into the negative charge. For two point charge, two point charge, if the charge are the same, like charge, okay, uh, they will repel each other. And this is the field that we get. Come out from positive, come out from positive. But here we have a neutral area. Okay, neutral area. If uh, both are negative charge, then the field going in uh, go into the charge. Okay, come out from positive, go into the negative. Okay, but the patterns are the same. If one positive, one negative, then that's how it looks like. One point charge with one uh, plate. Uh, this is two plate. Uh, we can see that the charge come out from the positive plate and move into the negative plate. Eh? Uh, this is the one point charge with a ring. Eh? Okay, charge with a ring come out from the positive going into the negative. Eh? Okay, so there's a note, huh? the lines of the force are directed outwards for a positive charge and inwards for the negative charge. Huh? Another thing that you need to know is uh, the lines huh, will never cross each other. The lines will never cross each other. You will never see the lines like this. They never cross each other.